So on the 9th of September, which is coming up in two days time as of the time of recording this, there is so much hype for this PlayStation 5 event. And the fact it's called a PlayStation 5 event and not a PlayStation event implies we're going to get some new PlayStation reveals and confirmations of games they're already working on. So yo, what is good YouTube? Wish you here. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. We've recently done a bunch of Marvel Spider-Man PS5 videos and God of War videos and we cover a bunch of other stuff on this channel so make sure to subscribe if you are new around here check us out on instagram at war stew check us out on twitter war stew g aka war stew so marvel spider-man 2 is one of the most anticipated games that's not even being confirmed to be actually real as of the time of recording this video everyone knows that insomniac games is working on it but there's actually be no official confirmation that the game even exists we know how highly successful miles morales was was for the PS4 and for the PS5, but they haven't even confirmed that official work is happening on this video game, but we already know that it's happening. So one of the biggest things that will be coming from this PlayStation event will be Insomniac Games, which is owned by Sony Studios. They will be confirming that yes, they are working on Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And I'm actually expecting a cinematic trailer. Yo, Wall Street, you're talking absolute shit. No, I'm not, bro. No, I'm not. This happened with Mars Morales. When they revealed Miles Morales video game hit us in the face with a Miles Morales trailer that nobody saw coming. So let's talk about what potentially could happen in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now I believe there's going to be some multiplayer action in it. Yeah, Wall Street, you're talking crazy. No. In some of games is hiring. We have five job openings for a multiplayer project. Come join us be part of PlayStation Studios family as we work on exciting things. So system designer, creative director, story lead, art director, VFX artist. Now what is this something that game's essentially known for. It's known for the highly popular Ratchet and Clank series, and it's known for Marvel Spider-Man predominantly. Yes, they have worked on other games. This implies to me and a lot of other people in the Marvel Spider-Man gaming community have also figured out and realized this must have something to do with the next Spider-Man game, because we know this Spider-Man game is probably going to come out late 2022, mid-2023 at earliest. And if you do go to the bio of the Insomniac game, Games, they only list developers of Ratchet and Clank PS5, Mars Morales Spider-Man 5, Spider-Man PS4, creators of Ratchet and Clank, Spyro the Dragon, it's not going to be that, and Resistance. So, yeah, confirmed. It's pretty much confirmed that the next Spider-Man game will at least have some capacity of online play which is fantastic so also we know god of war ps5 is the most anticipated video game ever online literally broke the internet last september when they revealed something that was like ragnarok is coming and the internet broke it broke more than halo more than any game in history it literally broke the internet and it didn't even say anything winter is coming fimble winter is coming and we've had no end of industry insiders god of War creator essentially saying, yep, God of War is coming to this event. It's not being confirmed by Santa Monica Studios or Sony themselves, but it is a PlayStation event and God of War has literally been trending all week along, being last week, not this week, but I wanted to put a video out before this, but I didn't. So God of War PS5, we will be getting a gameplay trailer 100% confirmed because I said so and the fact that the whole internet's been saying that and the fact that this game was actually allegedly supposed to be coming out this year. So you're telling me a game that was supposed to be coming out this year doesn't have a trailer ready? No, it means the game's coming next year, which means they've got to have a bunch of stuff ready already. So that is why it's definitely coming. But what is interesting is, is Spider-Man 2 PS5's trump card at this event and will it be exclusive to PlayStation 5? Now, if the game is going to come out in 2023, there's no reason for it to actually be on the PS4. Yes, I know they're a business and they want sales, but then you look at Ratchet and Clank, a rift apart. That could have went to the PS4, could it? We don't know. The tech technology of jumping from one level to the next instantaneously. Could it be done on anything else? Well, we don't know. So as I said, delete his social media posts and stuff like that. The Mars Morales actor himself posting something on Instagram and then getting getting rid of it. The face actor posting something then getting rid of it saying, oh, motion capture, back to work. So we know they are 100% working on it. But some people seem to think it could be releasing like next year. I, I don't really see it coming. But Spider-Man 2018 came out in 2008. So let's say they've been working on this game alongside working on Mars Morales. So that'd be 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22. So realistically, the game could actually drop next year. 
it could drop late 2022 for sure. But we don't know. We know this is a beloved character, beloved IP that Sony have got in their web heads, which is interesting. So we know that apparently this game is going to focus more on Peter, but also on Miles. And you're going to flick from one character to the next. Also in the news, apparently we're going to have winter, winter effects in this video game, which which could be could be very interesting. But apparently the villains for this are going to be interesting. There's a lots of misleading and contradictory leaks. Some leaks say it could feature Peter Parker alongside Miles Morales with frequent shifts between the two from different perspectives. But now we've had a whole game of Miles. I don't know if it would be cool playing as both characters. It'd be cool to see him working side by side. But it is interesting the more information that comes out about this game and the more information that contradicts other information about the same game is interesting. There's even been details about the potential villains for this video game. According to Spider-Man PS5 Elite, Venom will be a big focus of this. However, despite the intrigue, final sequence of the first game, Harry Osborn will not become Venom. The leaker reports that Harry will have some Venom-like qualities, but the actual Venom of the series is unrelated to him. When Peter Parker gets the black suit, it contains a brand new playstyle, and that's something that could be pretty big. So obviously we know that we're going to have to get some new map in some capacity. The leak also provides Queens is being added, which is a pretty cool playable area in New York City. Since we know that Peter is going to move to Queens, it does make sense. The leaker also suggests that MJ would take a back seat. Yes. Who hated them MJ scenes where you had to play as MJ and sneak around? No. I mean, in the last video, I made people actually hated that. So that is pretty cool. So the villains for this are pretty suspect. Pretty suspect. So besides Venom, who's not the main villain, there's going to be other villains in this video game. Apparently, characters such as Craven the Hunter, who's rumored to be in the MCU. Kingpin will be present and Black Cat. Despite him being a villain in the prior game, we should include the leaker believes JJJ will have a more physical presence in this. So save transfers is a big thing that's going around. I don't know why, because you should start this game fresh. But it's worth pointing out the Spider-Man developer claims to be scratching the surface of the PS5 power with Miles Morales. But what's interesting here, it says, this will allow you to maintain all your suits from the previous game, but it won't affect melon damage and health that's being reported. So yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff in this report, so it's supposed to speak. But I don't know, you have to kind of take it with a pinch of salt to be honest, because like you say, there's misleading, conflicting reports about what's going to happen in this next game. But either way, we know they're going to develop the story. The villains are going to have to be stronger, harder. Peter and Miles are going to have to get stronger and they're going to have to open up more New York. That does make a lot, a lot of sense. And the fact that Harry's been in both post-credit scenes for Miles Morales and Spider-Man PS4 tells us that we're going to see something crazy, so to speak. And it is cool that the saves will transfer over, but health won't. There will be new gadgets to unlock. It's just going to be like the first game, but on steroids, because because it should hopefully be PS5 exclusive, we hope, with more areas to play. I would like to see Norman Osborn, Green Goblin appear. That would be freaking insane. I'd like to see some somehow they can flick Daredevil in there, Iron Fist, that would be pretty cool, to some capacity, and uh, maybe bring some of the other Spider-Men in it, that that would be uh, pretty cool. I mean, different variances from, like, in Spider-Verse, them, them kind of variations, that would be pretty cool. So like always, guys, let us know, are you super, super hyped for this PlayStation event coming this week, because we could be getting, we could be getting an actual cinematic trailer, like they popped Miles Morales when no one actually saw that. Come in, did they? No. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram, at Warstu. Check us out on Twitter, Wash UG and let us know are you hyped for God of War PS5 Spider-Man Marvels 2 aka I'm calling it Spider-Man PS5 and let us know what other games you would like to see at this event as we know it's a 40 minute event it's not a state of play so they're gonna have to reveal an awful lot at this event even if the titles aren't ready they should be revealing a hell of a lot of stuff at this event so like always guys I will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later